You're looking for a sign, one sign, one to help you stop bad habits or maybe make a positive impact in your community. Cobbert County Sheriff Eric Ballantyne says that is in part the reason that he decided to put up a very unique sign with a specific message to drug dealers. WFO 48 Aria Pons now in front of that sign. Aria, why did the sheriff decide to put that sign, that huge banner encouraging drug dealers to report their competition? Liz, both the sheriffs in Lauderdale and Culver County say they've seen an uptick in overdoses and a rise in fentanyl. Sheriff Eric Ballantyne with Culver County says that that's part of the reason why he decided to think a little bit outside of the box on this whole idea. Well, it's a lot more than what we want. Lauderdale County Sheriff Joe Hamilton says even just one case dealing with drugs is too many. In the last six months, they've seen 500 cases. It's definitely a fight and a challenge. Um, uh, there's an increase in the cases, uh, drug-related cases, but uh, you know, we're going to keep on doing what we're doing because, um, you know, that stuff ruins families. Colbert County Sheriff Eric Ballantyne says he's not going to back down either while drugs seem to be taking over. And that's when he had an attention grabbing idea. All right, boys, uh, we do know for a fact that drug dealing is a very competitive business. My thinking was thinking outside the box is if you've got competition selling dope, give us a call. We'll take care of your competition, then we'll work our way down to you. Valentine says his deputies have already received several calls and messages on social media platforms as soon as they put it up. We're going to take advantage of every resource we have. We feel like this is just another resource to gather information so we can find out who is selling drugs. Ballantyne and Hamilton agree that they're dealing with a huge enemy on the rise. There's, there has been a, a increase in fentanyl. Fentanyl is a huge problem right now. Colbert County is called to at least one fentanyl overdose a week sometimes. Their department has seen 114 drug cases. 120 of Lauderdale's 500 cases are fentanyl related. They've seized 4,000 fentanyl pills and over a pound of fentanyl powder. Sheriff Hamilton urges the community that if you have any information or tips to just call into the Lauderdale County Department. And as for Sheriff Valentine, well, if you want to report your competition, just swing on by Highway 72 near the Waffle House and pick up that number off of his banner. Reporting live in Colbert County, Aria Ponds, 48 on your side.